Hello and good morning. It is the start of a brand new week and I haven't picked up my vlogging camera in a little while now for various reasons but the main one being that not a lot has been going on that's worth filming and I don't have that much of an exciting week. However, Oliver is away on a course so I'm on my own this week and obviously this doesn't really happen very often thankfully because I'm looking forward to him coming back um so I thought it would kind of maybe be interesting to vlog a different kind of week for me this will be Oliver's last week away he was away all of last week but he did come home for the weekend which was so nice um I know it's only like five days but when you live together it's kind of you've been used to having the other person around it's quite an odd week last week and I'm imagining I'll probably feel the same like this week and he he was pretty missing home as well I think it's going to be lovely when he's home on Friday obviously because he's going to be qualified but mostly just so that we're back together and normality can resume so what is happening this week um today it's Monday obviously I'm going to work this morning and then I've got a big gap in the middle of my day and I'm meeting my dad at Blue Water because my mum has ordered potentially her dress for my wedding which we have done a click and reserve uh, not click and reserve click and collect so that is at the Blue Water John Lewis waiting for us we're gonna go and get that at lunchtime hopefully my mum likes that uh, do a little bit of shopping then I've got like few more appointments later on this afternoon and maybe you might go to yoga this evening but not sure yet then the rest of the week quite busy with work then I might be going to Whitstable in the middle of the week with my mum and yeah I'm not really sure but I think it'll be an okay week to vlog because like I say it's not my average week and I kind of want to get this to remember it and be like Thank God we don't have to do this very often. Right, we've picked Mum's John Lewis order up. We had a quick coffee in Nero's. I got some Topshop jeans, but that was about it. I wasn't really that inspired today. I don't really want to spend much money. And it's absolutely horrible. Good evening. It's a little bit later on now, as you can probably tell. It's bedtime. Well, it's my bedtime nearly. It's about half nine. And I didn't vlog a lot this afternoon because, as I said earlier, I was at work most of the afternoon. But I did go back to my mum's and we opened her parcel from John Lewis, her dress for my wedding. And I think, fingers crossed, she really liked it. I thought it was lovely as well. It's I didn't show too much of it when we opened it earlier, but it's like a lovely pink. It's not like pale pink but it's not dusky pink it's quite an unusual color actually it was really lovely and it had sort of a gold tone to it which goes well with the theme of our wedding and it was sort of lacy i'd say it's not maxi but it's longer than midi so it's in between a midi and a maxi dress so it's a, it's a nice length for a mother of the bride dress so yeah i think she's going to keep that. Um, I didn't catch what the designer was but it's I think they specialise in sort of mother of the bride type of dresses. But yeah that was really nice I think. I think we're going to go with that um, unless something else crops up in the next 30 days because obviously she won't have that long in which to change her mind but I, I really liked it and I can I can see her in that at my wedding uh, but yeah I do find this part of the day probably the hardest you know like the evenings and especially bedtime last week when Oliver was away I slept dreadfully like 
I, I don't really know why, but it's almost like your mind kind of subconsciously knows that something's not quite right and that you are sleeping alone. It's weird, but yeah. Just me in the bed tonight. So this is night two and we've got um, obviously Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, three more nights. So after tomorrow we're like on the countdown for it to being a little bit nearer. It's terrible, isn't it? Like I'm already counting down till we see each other again. But yeah, tomorrow I don't actually have that busy a day at work. Um, I've got, again, I've got this big gap in the middle of my day. I think I didn't go yoga tonight. So I think I'm going to go to the gym first thing in the morning. And then I've got a couple of morning appointments and a couple of afternoon appointments. So, yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, I have just got in from my morning appointments and if you're wondering why I'm in my bathroom and dressed a little bit strange, it's because I'm about to do a tiny little bit of decorating or touching up. Um, I'll just show you. Um, the other day I accidentally sprayed some mould spray but I forgot it all down the wall so I've still got the paint this grey paint and I'm just going to try and touch it up and then in the corner by my bin it's kind of got all mucky here so I might try and paint over that is what I am about to do so cue the time lapse but it was literally just driving me mad having this like green streak down the wall and I'm a little bit of a perfectionist so if something isn't 100% right it just bugs me and bugs me until I sort it out and it's been like it for a few weeks now and I thought actually while Oliver's away it's a bit of decorating um, yeah I'll just show you it's just drying now just see where I've done here and then while I was like up there oh <coughs> should probably open the window I just sort of found some other like little bits of white that were peeking through that we hadn't quite got while we were decorating and then there are a few bits I don't know if you can see on the wall here that were kind of a little bit black I don't know what that was from so I kind of just gently painted over them I had a really fine paintbrush that I got from Hobbycraft and then I've done this corner and there's a little bit along the bottom I've just painted but yeah I'm gonna let that dry now and I think hopefully that will be looking a little bit better and it won't bug me quite so much still got the fire on Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> Should we go on a walk or not? Huh? Are we going or not? Oh. Oh. Oh, have I done it? Drive it with a cold curry. Who, me? Is it Lully? Is it so Lully? Is it Lully? Is it Lully? Lully! Oh, lift your chin up. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't 
looking number two. No, you've got to. Come back. There's no good walking off. Wait. A bit of paper off or has she called me a naughty girl? <laughs> duh. Oh, duh. Gee, Are you ready? Are you ready for walks? Oh, lift your chin up. Oh, oh. oh babe. What's her favourite spot? Is it your favourite spot? Are we really mean taking you out? Away? Oh dear. She says I'm off. Ready? <laughs> I think I might need a scarf. Yeah, I think you probably will. This is where she sits to put her shoes on. <laughs> Hello, how was your day? We're about to head out in a minute. We are going to Whitstable because there's a big retail park and it's got like Audi, M&S food and home bargains. And we don't really have a home bargains that near to where we live. So that's kind of what we're going there for. And obviously we're going to maybe do an Audi shop while we're there too. I really like home bargains. It's a bit nerdy, so I'm quite looking forward to going and picking up some goodies there. I didn't really get around to vlogging that much today because I've just mainly been working and then we went to the shops and I think half of this vlog will probably be me in my dressing gown at the end of the day maybe saying oh sorry I didn't actually film that much but yeah it's not been that exciting today and tomorrow I've got a manic crazy day at work so I probably won't be filming anything tomorrow but then it'll be Friday and Oliver will be on his way home so probably I'll be catching up with you again on Friday but all in all at the moment I'd say this week is a little bit easier than the first week that Oliver was away. I think we've both found it a bit better this week um, although I am ready for him to come home now. I definitely will be by Friday anyway um, and I've been sleeping a little bit better than I did last week but I've had a headache all day today hence why I've not really been in the mood to pick up my camera. It's only just kind of lifted and it's like, I think it's about eight o'clock now. It'll be a nice weekend. Um, although they're saying about maybe we're gonna get some snow again at the weekend. Hopefully not. We've had enough of that recently, but um, Saturday evening where we've got a table booked at our favorite restaurant where we go whenever we've got like a birthday or celebration and stuff like that. So we're going out for a lovely meal Saturday and I don't know what we'll do Sunday but if we do anything interesting hopefully that'll be nice for us to vlog but I'm sure it will just be really lovely to have Oliver back and yeah I'll catch you again on Friday. It's finally Friday I have not long got in from the gym it is about 20 past four and I've just been scoffing some Greek yogurt because I'm absolutely starving as I normally am when I finish a workout. I've just done like a legs and bum workout and I am about to blitz the house. Um, it, it won't need much cleaning but because I'm the only one that's been here all week. Because um, obviously Oliver is on his way home this evening. I think he'll probably be finished in like half an hour or so, like maybe at five. But he's already texted me this afternoon to say he's qualified, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the house all clean and make it nice and cosy for him when he gets in. And then I'm going to cook our dinner because I think his commute will probably take like maybe three and a bit hours. So he probably won't be home till eight. So we'll probably want to eat kind of quite soon after he gets in. So at least it will all be ready and I won't have to 
be spending ages in the kitchen getting that ready. So yeah, I'm gonna pop a time lapse in now. It's a little bit later on now as I've just finished cooking tonight's dinner. We are having meatballs. I cook them in like a nice tomato -y sauce with some peppers and mixed herbs and stuff like that. And Oliver actually likes meatballs with rice so I've cooked the rice ahead of time. And I actually quite like cooking my rice in bulk because we eat so much of it and I think it's... I cook it better when I cook it in a big saucepan and I can always freeze it if we're not going to eat it but I'm sure we'll be eating that over the course of the next few days and I also cooked some ratatouille in there it looks very red at the moment but I'm not having this ratatouille tonight that's for another night's meal I've actually got I'm just going to move away from that light I've got loads of really nice healthy meals in the fridge for the next week um, not that we eat bad anyway, we eat pretty healthily I think, but I was just really fancying some sort of fish and more vegetable heavy meals. So I've got loads of fish and veg in the fridge for next week and I'm really looking forward to tucking into that. That is what I've made the ratatouille for. I think we're going to have like, um, I'm going to cook some haddock and have that with some ratatouille on the side because fish and tomato is quite nice like tomato -y sauce and I really like ratatouille and I was quite fancying that but I always do this when I cook I like bulk cook I cook loads of things at once because like I say they can always go in the freezer if I don't use them and while I'm making the effort I just do it all in one go so that's what I've just been doing and now I've got the kind of nice aftermath and I can clean a load of the dishes so we don't have to do so much tonight. So all we'll have to wash up is like our bowl and the saucepan with the meatballs because I'm gonna stick the ratatouille in the fridge in our garage, like literally just in its saucepan as it is so I don't have to wash that up for the time being. And that's just waiting to be a bit cooler and I can refrigerate some of it. But yeah, um, Oliver messaged me a little while ago, what's the time now? Uh, it's ten past six now. Um, and he left the college at about an hour ago now. Um, and it's like a half an hour walk to the train station from where he is. And he's got got to get the train from Mainhead into London. And then he's got to get a tube so he can get to Vic and then he can get home. So he's still got a little journey till he's home. And I'm just going to wait for him to let me know he's on his train. Okay, I am aware that I have looked dog rough in the majority of this vlog, so I can only apologise and I know it's not going to be one of my most exciting videos that I upload, but like I said at the beginning of the week, I kind of just wanted to vlog while Oliver was away because I'm sure we'll look back on this like week that or two weeks kind of that he's been away and yeah, just as a memory really because it's not going to happen again and yeah just to kind of see how we both dealt with it really um i have found this week so much better than last week i'm not gonna lie um although i'm so excited to go and pick him up in a minute i can't even contain myself and just knowing that he's not got to go away again this weekend is really nice um i set my timer on my phone yeah, I've got about 10 minutes till I've got to go, I've got to leave to go and pick him up. Um, cause he's, he, his train left Vic, um, probably about 40 minutes ago now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna vlog later because I'm not gonna like put the camera in his face the minute we get home. I just want to see him and spend time with him. But hopefully the weekend will be a little bit more interesting and there'll be someone other than me like in the footage here he comes <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I just have one question. Why though? Why? Look who it is! Baba! Hmm. He's home. Hmm. It's snowing again in mid-March. I'll just show you. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. How did you find your week away? It was better, wasn't it? Easier than Easier. the first week. Yeah. We don't fit in the same shop. When it I'm went holding. quicker this week. It did. I am about to make breakfast. We're going to have a smoothie. A summer smoothie, even though it's snowing. <laughs> Here's our smoothie bowl. What did you just say it looks like? Tubby custard. <laughs> Yama. I've just finished putting the rest of my makeup on. I put a little bit on before we had breakfast, but I was too hungry to finish it. I was like, right, need to eat. And I've kind of just curled my hair a little bit because it's Saturday and we're going out tonight. But I've got my favorite lipstick on, which is this one. Crosswires by MAC. I absolutely love it. I think I only got it last year, but it is literally one of my favourites. It's perfect all year round because it's kind of got enough colour, but it's quite a muted colour at the same time. And I think this kind of peachy, orange, pink kind of colour really suits my skin tone. And I just love wearing it. I wanted to quickly show you. I got in the post a, well I bought it obviously, a print from Cupcake Pug Company and I thought I would, I haven't opened it yet so I thought I would do a quick opening. It was packaged really well actually, nice firm envelope so it's not got bent. Oh look at this. How cute is that? It says the best therapists wag their tail. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. And guess where it's going? On the wall somewhere here. So it's quite big. It's an A4 print. So I'm not sure where I'm going to fit her. Maybe like here. I don't know. But I love it. I think that's really nice. Look at that. Really pretty. I will link um, the Cupcake Pug Company in the description box down below if you want to go and check out their other bits. It's hurting now. Go sit down there, just, just probably because you... Can you help me? Instead of videoing yourself, you... See how needy he is? He's, only been back, he's not even been back when he's all around. He's been on the phone for 40 minutes. Well, that's probably why you've got a sore shoulder. That's it. You've just, like, been hunching and... So anyway, yeah, this is what we're doing all day. I'm just going to rub his shoulder. No, we're going out in a minute. No, we're going to chill for a bit. What? And then we'll go out. Might as well stay on the phone then if we're just chilling. No. About to go out now, so I've got changed. This is my dress that I wore. wore it to the christening when we went to Arundel. You didn't really see it because I had my coat on. It's from Oasis. And it's quite nice and thick and warm because obviously it's a bit cold today. And then... Primark tights and some little heeled boots from Mashudo. I like it. It's not very spring like though. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Where's your outfit of the day from? My outfit of the day is from Christmas presents. Super dry. Yeah, super dry. <laughs> oh, zero degrees again. Come on, spring, where are you? <laughs> Who is he? Who is he? Is he Oliver? Look at him. Is he Oliver? <laughs> Come on, Pig! Who's asleep? Is he Oliver? You're not seen him for a week. Give him some love. Make a fuss of him. Lally. 
That's a squashed. <sighs> Go away, Snow. <laughs> Stop doing this, it's weird. What? Stretching and walking around? Is that what you do? Keep your steps up. You don't want to run away from the smell, though. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, it's not a state station. Yeah, it's not it's stationary. <laughs> long got in from our meal the time it's 10 o'clock and it's pretty snowy on the roads actually i was quite surprised at how much it had laid but it didn't really affect us too much which is good but we had a really tasty meal i had a yummy burger oliver had some duck yeah and uh this afternoon we were just at mum's and she was like fiddling about with her second dress that she's bought um, for the wedding and I think she's gonna send the original one that we picked up the other day back but yeah we'll catch you in the morning good morning we are about to head out in a minute because we are running a few errands this morning we've got to get Oliver a new bag for work and then head into town get a few bits and maybe go and see Oliver's mum later and it's not too bad, the snow today. It's just like a little bit on the roofs and on the cars and stuff, I'll show you. Whoa, that's like... Not too bad, but it's very cold today. It's a little bit later now. We've got home from doing our jobs that we needed to do while we were out. And I think Oliver's gonna put this photo frame up for me so I can put the new pug print in it.
lunch now and then we are chilling out for the rest of the afternoon so probably going to end the vlog here because we've got lots of catching up with the crown and just not a lot that's very exciting to be vlogging really so hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog and i'll see you again soon